Hi, my name is Farnaz and here goes nothing. I'm recording this video as a start uh, to a channel to possibly help anyone watching um, and tell you about my weight loss journey. So as you see from the title, I've lost 71 pounds in 15 weeks and it's just the beginning. Um, I've been down this road before. However, this time is very different. I'm very focused on the nutrition aspect of it first and foremost, and it's been a very slow process, but a very positive process that's helped me realize the mistakes that I've made in the past and why I failed in the past at maintaining my weight loss. And because of that, I wanted to share this with someone out there that's struggling to get back on their feet after failing or having never tried losing weight before, I think I can provide those tools to you because of my experience. I've been doing this since I'm 16 years old and um, I've had a lot, a lot of accomplishments in this time. I've had a lot of positive moments and of course there have been the lows and the setbacks um, that we all go through. So this new journey uh, has caused me to really look at my relationship with food and really look at the way that I've been approaching weight loss up until this point. So I would say that the biggest difference this time is that I'm not going into this journey with an all or nothing attitude. And by all or nothing for me was that if I wasn't completely perfect every single day, with my diet and with exercise, I would feel that I failed and want to quickly give up. That was definitely a very strenuous, high pressure situation that I was setting up for myself. And it definitely gave me no room for a bump in the road, no room for mistakes and kind of kept me on this path of having to be 100% perfect all of the time in order to succeed at my weight loss, which Obviously, nobody is 100% perfect every single day of their weight loss journey or every single day of life. So it wasn't realistic. This time around, it's a more realistic approach, a more sane approach, um, I would say, <laughs> because I've done a more insane approaches before. Um, now, this actually recording this video has proven to be very hard for me, but I'm getting through it. So, and I've noticed that with a lot of things with my weight loss, it's been a matter of facing my fear, getting through the moment and realizing that it's not as bad as I think, and it can get better. So, uh, my biggest advice is to focus on first your nutrition. What are you putting into your body? How does it make you feel? If you feel good, okay, continue that. Um, but if it doesn't make you feel good, try to figure out why it's not making you feel good, why you're eating the things that you're eating. And then for a general kind of plan that I've been following is um, to focus on incorporating more vegetables into my diet, um, like a plate a round plate, picture a round plate, half of that plate would be vegetables, a quarter of that plate would be some kind of lean protein of your choice, whether it's plant-based or, um, you know, chicken, fish, uh, meat, eggs, something like that, beans, and a quarter of your plate would be a starchy vegetable um, or some kind of starch uh, that includes brown rice, oats, barley, quinoa, any of those options. So that's been a general guideline that I've been following. And then also, I do not have any artificial sweeteners in my diet, no sugar except for sugar from fruit, natural whole food fruit. Um, I am not having any dairy at all in my diet and no bread, crackers, um, things like that. And also, uh, what is the other rule. I'll get you that that whole list um, in my next video, exactly the thing that, to follow. Um, and there was one other, uh, no artificial sweeteners, I said that. Um, 
Oh, and no white rice and white potatoes and things like that. But sweet potatoes are fine, brown rice is fine, all of that. So we can get into detail on my upcoming videos about all those details. But the point is, I've been consistent with this uh, for 15 weeks. I have seen results that I never thought possible without exercise and diet. And definitely, I'm not saying do not exercise um, because I have been incorporating exercise um, after 10 weeks in because I was not able to move at the weight that I was. I was not able to physically move, uh, physically feel good while exercising. I was out of breath. I couldn't take a few steps without wanting to give up. So I took it slow. And although I felt the pressure from day one to incorporate diet and exercise, I allowed myself the opportunity to just focus on nutrition and get that habit in place before moving on. So I would love to hear from you, whoever is watching. Um, it could be one person, which would be fine, because if I can help one person, that's wonderful. If you have any questions for me, or if you want a specific video, then please leave it in the comments below so that I can provide the content that you're looking for and the, answer the questions that you want answered. And hopefully in time, be able to provide more exciting videos, um, videos that show you my what I cook show you the meals that I prepare, some meal prep videos, what I do for exercise, and things like that. So hopefully you can join me on this journey um, and we can do it together. All right, till next time. Bye.